The first factor is infant mortality rate, which is the deaths per 1,000 live births. And straight away we can see that the continent of Africa, parts of uh, the Middle East, and some parts of Asia are seem to have the highest infant mortality rate. As uh, the countries that we study, which are more like Niger, seem to have one of the highest infant mortality rates. Um, the NICs of India and China and Brazil have a sort of a, a mid midway in between low and high as they're still developing and uh, that number is ex expected to decrease as their development increases uh, compared to the already established uh, MEDCs which are you know, sort of the, uh, in the countries that we study which are um, the USA, uh, England which is of, of my home country and France which uh, have a very low infant mortality rate which is to be expected. Now you, this could suggest that um, uh, infant mortality rate um, uh, happens with uh, LEDCs, uh, increases with LEDCs, which is um, which seems to be uh, true here, as uh, the majority of Africa has a very high infant mortality rate. The next factor is literacy, which is the percentage of the total population of that country. This map is uh, sort of a reverse of the last, as we can see that Africa is a lot lower than the rest of the c of the world as uh, the majority of the world almost has a 100% uh, literacy rate. As we can see, the MEDC is the United States, 99%. Um, and Andorra, obviously, because it's such a small population, it can say it has 100%. Um, the countries that we study, would, or like Niger, has an extremely uh, low literacy rate because uh, of um, money issues and maybe it's not the top priority to put putting money into education when uh you know people are dying from other causes and stuff uh the nic's of india and china and brazil have a uh, pretty high literacy rate maybe not so much for india but uh china and brazil have um a quite a high uh literacy rate which isn't which is to be expected as and it will increase mm, definitely as uh, their development increases without a doubt and so will India there. The next factor uh, which does link into literacy rate would be education expenditures and this one would definitely reflect in uh, literacy rate as the more money of uh, GDP of that country is pumped into edu uh, exp spending on education. Uh, in theory, in theory the uh, literacy rate of that country should increase. Um, as we can see, not that many countries in uh, Africa are putting a large percentage of their GDP into education, and it's reflected in the last map that their uh, education per percentage, uh, literacy percentage, isn't as high as uh, other countries. While uh, countries like America, the MEDCs, um, UK, France, Norway, India, and stuff are putting more money into um, uh, education and it results in a higher um, literacy rate which uh, in turn benefits the country by eventually should be making more money for that country the next factor is GDP per capita in dollars um, not this is uh, not really a huge surprise as we can see that the USA uh, UK, France, all, majority of Europe, um, and Australia, Australasia, uh, has to have the highest GDP per capita. That's the GDP of the country divided by the population. So here, uh, USA have an extremely high uh, GDP. Um, countries like Qatar and the Middle East, obviously, uh, with the with the uh, the amount of oil that they can uh, use and to make money. Uh, Norway having an extremely high GDP. Because uh, which does reflect in their HDI index being uh, one of, uh, pre being the highest in the world, again because of uh, oil. And uh, not surprising that Africa not having a huge uh, GDP per capita because of uh, again the uh, that every single country is uh, LEDC and not having uh, enough money to uh, support the country. The NICs that are of uh, Brazil and China and India obviously will be growing over the years per capita at the moment it's not too high as um, maybe not every single person is earning a lot of money but as a country they're growing a lot 
Um, so their GDP per capita will be rising over time. The last factor is malnutrition prevalence, which is the weight for age percentage of children under five. And the main areas that are affected are the east of Africa or the Horn of Africa where the drought is, Central Africa and Western Africa. A lot of Africa is under drought and this could be reason why there's a lot of uh, malnutrition in the, these areas. Um, and uh, India as well is uh, under a lot of malnutrition. The North America and majority of Europe and Asia seem to be almost uh, just not, uh, non the malnutrition seems to be non-existent. And yeah.